So what is cooperative and what is preemptive? So the cooperative mode, this is what you are using today with your 4D processes. Cooperative means that the 4D processes cooperate to share one CPU. They need to cooperate so that when, uh, one process must say, OK, I'm stopping my execution and give you my CPU. I, I give my CPU to another process. They cooperate together. Explicitly by using the idle command, you know that you must use the idle command in some case in, compiled, in your compiled application, or implicitly by using a most other 4D language command that internally call the idle command to give the CPU to another process. Okay? As I said, because one process uh, stops by using the idle command or any other command and to give the CPU to another uh, 4D process, that means that only one CPU core can be used at the same time. You can, of course you know that from your 4D process, it seems natural to do user interface. You can open window, uh, display a dialog, display a form, whatever you want. It seems natural, but Actually, this is not at all natural for an operating system. Most operating systems forbid the usage of user interface from any other thread than the main thread. That means that when you are creating a secondary uh, for the process, if the for the process is using internally uh, an operating system thread, doing a use, managing user interface from this secondary, secondary, secondary thread is forbidden by operating system. But from cooperative uh, process, inside 4D we manage to make it possible. In preemptive mode, you don't have to call the idle command because the 4D process doesn't have to cooperate to share the CPU. It's done by the operating system. The operating system preemptively gives the CPU to one thread or the other. And if you have multiple CPUs in your machine, then more than one thread can uh, execute at the same time. So the benefit is that you can use all the cores of your machines. But as I said, from a preemptive thread, you cannot do user interface. Just to summarize, in cooperative mode, you have a 4D process executing. Then at some point, you are calling the idle command or some other 4D language command. At, at this point, uh, process A stops execution and gives the CPU to another process, process B, for example. Then the process B calls the idle command, and in turn, the process A resumes and can execute again. And you can see uh, that the only, one, the only one CPU is used, and the CPU number two, if you have a second CPU, is, uh, is doing nothing. In preemptive mode, you don't have to call the idle command, and the operating system dispatch the two processes on the two CPU you may have on your machine. So the benefit is obvious. The global execution time is smaller in preemptive mode when you have two CPUs. But the execution time of each process individual, in each individual process, is the same. It's not faster for one individual task for one individual process, uh, preemptive uh, scheduling doesn't, doesn't allow any, any gain in performances. The execution time is strictly the same for one individual process and one individual task. It's the global execution of multiple tasks and multiple processes, which is uh, smaller. So let's start with a quick, uh, a quick demonstration. So this is very simple. I have two buttons, 
Each button is creating four processes. The first one is creating four cooperative processes to do some computation, some stupid computation for the demo. So it's running, running, running. So the total, uh, the total time is uh, 640 ticks, and uh, each process individual time is 150. So you, if you do the math, uh, one, 150 multiplied by four, it's roughly uh, six, 600. So the, the global time is simply the addition of each individual time. Uh, if I do exactly the same computation in four preemptive threads, you see that each individual time of each process is roughly the same, 150, but the global execution time is four times smaller, 1, 160. It's roughly the same as one individual process time. This is because on this uh, laptop, I have four cores, so the four processes, the four 4D processes, are running on each, each, uh, uh, each process a core. So you, you see that the, the benefit for execution, the global execution time, the benefit is obvious.